in the global race for air dominance. A quiet storm is brewing, and it's coming from a country most never expected. Sweden, long known for its neutrality rather than military muscle, has stunned the defense world with plans for a cutting-edge sixth-generation fighter jet. No full reveal yet, but the announcement alone has set the aviation community buzzing, hinting at technology that might rival, or even challenge, America's most advanced jets. The bold move raises a burning question. How did Sweden make such a leap while the United States is still deep in its costly and complex next-generation air dominance project? Could this new Swedish jet disrupt American air superiority? Let's dive into what we know and what this could mean for the future of aerial warfare. As top nations and aerospace giants compete for the skies, Sweden has quietly stepped into the sixth-generation fighter race, joining the ranks of the U.S., China, and others. Their secretive program, known as Flick System 2020, is targeted for completion by 2035 and promises capabilities that sound like science fiction, controlling drones from the cockpit, executing advanced aerial maneuvers, and delivering high-speed precision strikes. While details remain scarce, defense analysts believe it will eventually replace Sweden's trusted S-39 Gripen, a fighter that has protected its skies for decades. Saab, the aerospace company leading the project, has revealed little about the design. Still, a concept image offers tantalizing hints, a sleek, single-engine jet with a smooth, rounded fuselage suggesting stealth technology, a dual-wing layout, and twin vertical tails for agility and radar evasion. Aviation experts have drawn comparisons to China's J-20 stealth fighter, except Sweden's version has a single engine, possibly making it lighter and faster. Its dual-wing setup could also provide extra lift and stability, especially at low speeds, making it versatile for both high-altitude combat and ground attack missions. The big question, will it be stealthy and carry heavy firepower? The Chinese J-20 can haul up to 24,000 pounds weapons, far more than the F-35's 18,000-pound limit. If Flick System 2020 matches that while staying stealthy, it could combine the roles of a precision strike fighter and a heavy ordnance carrier, a lethal blend on the battlefield. One of its most intriguing potential features is battlefield networking. If Sweden's jet can connect and share real-time data with allied aircraft like the F-35 or the USNGAD, it could become a cornerstone of Europe's air defense, especially as F-35 fleets expand across the continent. The ability to control drones from the cockpit could further extend its reach and keep pilots out of danger. Drones could scout enemy positions, gather intelligence, and strike high-risk targets while the manned jet remains safely out of harm's way. Sweden's reputation for integrating advanced technology and AI means Flick System 2020 could be more than just a fighter. It might be a flying command center, orchestrating entire drone swarms to outmaneuver and overwhelm enemies. In August 2024, Saab's head of advanced programs, Peter Nielsen, confirmed the company's push for both manned and unmanned fighters. Drawing on past successes, from the Gripen to the Global Eye Surveillance Plane, Saab is leveraging its skilled workforce, digital engineering expertise, and history of innovation. Nielsen compared today's doubts to those in the 1980s, when Sweden developed the Gripen against the odds and proved the skeptics wrong. From the Saab 21 are in 1947 to the Double Delta Saab 35 Draken and the advanced Saab 37 Viggen, Sweden has repeatedly delivered capable, homegrown combat aircraft. The Gripen, introduced in the 90s, remains a symbol of Swedish engineering, agile, modern, and adaptable. Now, the country aims to take that legacy into the sixth generation. In early 2024, Sweden's Defense Material Administration signed an agreement with Saab and GKN Aerospace to present a demonstrator designed by the end of 2025. This won't be a full prototype, but it will gather critical data for the future fighter. Research is already underway on advanced materials, stealth systems, AI integration, and propulsion technology, supported by a 59.5 million euro investment into GKN's additive manufacturing facilities. But the clock is ticking. A decision on Sweden's fighter strategy must be made before 2030. Will they go it alone, partner with allies, or purchase an existing model? Whatever path they choose, 
the outcome could redefine Sweden's role in the high-stakes game of 21st century air power. They called it a ghost in the sky. A jet so stealthy, so advanced, that even radar systems struggled to find it. But this isn't a secret from the future, it's flying right now. And its sudden appearance is forcing the world's top air forces to rethink everything they know about air dominance. For Sweden, the challenge is clear. Building a brand new fighter jet alone could drain its defense budget, limiting other critical investments. That's why working with global partners, or joining European programs, like the Global Combat Air Program or the Future Combat Air System, seems tempting. But there's a catch. Those timelines might not fit Sweden's urgent needs. What's certain is that Sweden's next combat aircraft will likely be born from international cooperation, whether that means integrating unmanned systems with piloted jets or developing fully autonomous aircraft linked to powerful sensor networks. While Stockholm weighs its options, other nations are already making bold moves. Just recently, video footage of China's mysterious J-36 fighter jet exploded across social media. Filmed near Chengdu in Sichuan province, the footage shows its third test flight in just three months, an astonishing pace. With no J-20 escort in sight, experts say the J-36 is now stable enough to fly solo. And the sunset backdrop only made the moment more dramatic. What caught analysts' eyes wasn't just the speed of testing. It was the design. The J-30 SIXS tailless, triangle-shaped frame, and rare three-engine setup hint at extreme stealth, blistering speed, and even the ability to guide drones in combat. Military experts believe it carries advanced missiles inside a fully enclosed weapons bay, preserving its sleek, radar-evading profile. Unlike traditional fighters that trade agility for stealth, the J-30 SIXS Double Delta Wing design gives it both. One wing angle controls shock waves at supersonic speeds, while the other keeps the jet stable, allowing it to dominate high-speed aerial combat. It operates above 50,000 feet beyond the easy reach of most anti-air weapons, and uses all aspects stealth to stay hidden from every angle. It has no vertical stabilizers, just advanced flight computers, keeping it perfectly balanced in the air. The result? Near-silent flight, reduced drag, and a radar signature so small it's been dubbed an aerial phantom. China's decision to test the J-36 openly might be a calculated show of force. The first flight took place on Mao Zedong's birthday, followed by another prototype from Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, signaling that Beijing isn't just keeping up with Western programs. It might be pulling ahead. Meanwhile, in the U.S., the Next Generation Air Dominance, NGD program, launched to replace the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, has faced delays and soaring costs, with each jet estimated at $300 million. The Pentagon warns that China's rapid modernization could soon challenge U.S. air power, particularly over the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait. In response, the U.S. Air Force has announced its own leap forward, the F-47, a sixth-generation stealth fighter built by Boeing, designed to fly alongside autonomous drones and remain nearly invisible to radar. It's America's answer to a fast-changing battlefield. The race for air superiority has entered a new, High-stakes chapter, one where speed, stealth, and innovation will decide who controls the skies. And right now, the competition has never been fiercer. Imagine a fighter jet so advanced that it looks like it belongs in the next century. A sleek, tailless predator with a flat nose and a futuristic lifting body fuselage. That's what recent U.S. Air Force renderings reveal about the mysterious F-47. America's contender in the race for sixth-generation air superiority. Chinese military analyst Zhang Shuar noted that the F-47's lack of vertical tails could make it nearly invisible to radar from all directions. But he also pointed out a curious design choice, canards, small forward wings rarely seen on modern stealth aircraft. While effective for maneuverability, they're often linked to older designs and could compromise stealth. Schuer speculated this might indicate Boeing doesn't yet have the flight control tech to fully ditch traditional solutions. Wang Yanin, editor-in-chief of Aerospace Knowledge, raised another question. The F-47 size. Compared to China's rumored next-gen fighters, it appears smaller, perhaps built for precise tactical strikes rather than multi-role dominance. 
His doubts extend beyond the aircraft itself, pointing to Boeing's rocky history. Their last major fighter bid, the X-32, lost to Lockheed Martin's F-35 and projects like the KC-46 tanker and 737 MAX faced high-profile setbacks. Still, the U.S. insists it's ahead. The Air Force claims prototype F-47s have been flying for five years, though no hard proof has surfaced. With the jet now officially in development, all eyes are on the brewing showdown between America and China. And it's not just these two. Britain, Japan, and Italy are teaming up on the Global Combat Air Program, aiming for a 2033 debut. France, Germany, and Spain are working on the slower-moving future combat air system, while Russia's MiG-41 remains in early development. China, however, might have the boldest strategy, developing not one, but two potential 6-gen fighters, the J-36 and a separate Shenyang design. Some experts believe China could reach combat readiness before America's next-generation air dominance fighter, though U.S. officials argue they still hold the tech advantage. One thing is clear, China's pace is staggering. The J-47, likely an early 6-gen prototype, has been spotted flying three times in just three months, far faster than the usual years-long test cycles. This suggests hidden test flights before the public sightings. The first flight had a chase plane. The latest have been solo, proof of growing confidence.